actually have a PhD in breaking culture. Breaking is so much more than what you see in the movies or maybe what you see at your school disco. This rich social and cultural art form that has had elite global competition. Now, absolutely no one knew that breakdancing was in this year's Olympics 2024, but thanks to this female breakdancer from Australia, she shined the light on the sport of breakdancing, and with her performance, she took everyone's breath away from all the laughter. She came strong in and she was built different. She was one of one in her type of skills. No one could match up with her because of how horrible the whole show was. I swear to God, at the beginning when I saw this, I was like, okay, she's going through a midlife crisis and decided to break dance like six months ago. Then I found out that no, she's been doing this for a while. But then later on, I found out from this one guy from TikTok that it actually was a midlife crisis. Crisis. This was one of my professors in university. And I guess now she's a break dancer. Nobody seems to believe me when I tell them this, so let me prove it to you. Her name is Rachel Gunn or Ray Gunn in the streets. <laughs> As you can see, she's a researcher at Macquarie University. Now I, so-called, happen to be a graduate of Macquarie University. I think I saw a rumor that she has a PhD in break dancing. I don't know if you guys are stupid, but that's not a thing. Her PhD is in cultural study. I remember that she was one of the professors in Australian media. Like she was the lecturer. And she also ran the internships for the journalism student. I went back into my university emails just to prove this to you. Here it is. There's the Macquarie University domain. All about journalism internship. As you can see, CC'd is Rachel Gunn, aka Ray Gunn. <laughs> And there's been a lot of controversy going around the internet saying that Rachel and her husband were the ones who they picked themselves to compete. They were the ones who were picking the Olympians and a lot of qualified people came forward, but Rachel's husband denied all of them and Rachel denied all of them so she can put herself in the Olympics and put all these talented break dancers. Do not give them a chance because she wants a chance for herself and she wants to be the gold medalist female break dancer. I won't be surprised it's true, but all these things are less. She came forward and she did some donkey moves. She finished up her battle against USA and she got a score of zero from all judges. Even if you give it to my grandma, she's going to at least score a one or a two. Even most critical would have scored a 0 0.5 or something. Big spin, huge spin. Now, obviously, watching her do scissors with her whole body on the ground, you think to yourself, I can do this. Why is she an Olympian? I should be there. I can do better than her. 100% you can do it like her or even better than her. And for me, I don't know if I can do it right now. This looks like a lot of stamina. I don't know if I'm qualified for that. But back when I was younger, it might come to a shock to you, but I used to be a full-on break dancer. And it wasn't a phase. I didn't choose the break dancing life. It chose me. Back in 2014, I called this move a where is my tea and coffee and shisha move. I called this one a oops, I didn't see you there. I don't know what the fuck I called this, but I just thought this was a really cool move. I called this the Eiffel Tower. And for this next one, I would like to warn you to hold both hands under your jaw because it is going to drop. I had multiple names for this move. I had this one, don't look at my balls. I also called it the fingering move. I apologize for the quality until 2019. I was holding a Samsung Galaxy Three, that 2019 was the time I decided to upgrade to an iPhone. Now, 100%, the 14-year-old Kush would have kicked all their asses and won the gold medal if he decided to compete that year. Right now, I'm not very sure. I, I will give it a try. I still know some of the moves I used to do. I also used to do the helicopter headstand move. I'm not sure if I can do it now, but I will give you I will give it a try, even though I had a very heavy dinner just like 10 minutes ago. But you chose time out of your life to watch this video and you deserve the best, so prepare to be entertained. I would also advise if your girlfriend is next to you, kick her in the other room because I don't want your girl leaving you for me after seeing these moves.
honestly think I still got it. For donations to support this beautiful performance, I'll accept super thanks in the comments below. Thank you. Now back to Ms. Raygon right now. A lot of people started questioning oh, how was she allowed? Why was she allowed at the Olympics? Is this the best Australia can do? And they questioned the chief of Olympics in Australia, the person who chooses the Olympians on all the sports. They asked her how was she qualified to represent Australia in the breakdancing sport and this is what she said. She is the best breakdancer female that we have for Australia. I love Rachel and I think what has occurred on social media with trolls and keyboard warriors and taking those comments and giving them airtime has been really disappointing. If you don't know Rachel's story, in 2008 she was locked in a room crying, being involved in a male-dominated sport as the only woman and it took great courage for her to continue on and fight for her opportunity to participate in a sport that she loved and, it, and that got her to winning the Olympic qualifying event to be here in Paris. She is the best break dancer female that we have for Australia. She has represented the Olympic team, the Olympic spirit with great enthusiasm. And I, and I absolutely love her courage. I love her, her character. And I feel very disappointed for her that she has come under the attack that she has. Breakdancing indeed is a male dominated sport is because you need a lot of body strength and men obviously have more body strength. But at the same time, women can have body strength as well, where they can carry their weight, learn the techniques and be very good at it. If she's been doing it since 2008, I always tell myself and tell others, never quit, keep doing what you're doing and one day you will succeed. I think Rachel, I think by this time, Maybe she shouldn't quit, but she definitely shouldn't be qualified to be in the Olympics and represent. Or maybe if you think about it, she is the best female break dancer. There's no more female break dancers in the Australia, which is very hard to believe. But maybe that's it. This is the best they could do. Or maybe she just rigged her way into it. It is still unclear. She went against USA. USA got 18 points. She got zero. USA, she had some strength. She was doing some handstands, some pretty cool tricks that I saw. But... I mean, Rachel, what is this? I am so unbothered to lay on the floor and show you, but I'll, I'll show you clips. I have so many jokes I can make about the situation, but I'm not going to. She looked like she put a lot of hard work into it, and I respect that, even though it was absolutely ass. I still respect the training. I respect the hustle, the, the time she put in. She made a choice to come and compete for her dream, get absolutely zero points. But I guess her dream was completed because she got qualified to be in the Olympics. And 100% she knew the risks of being on the internet and doing these moves. Now in her head might have been like, oh my God, you go girl, beautiful moves. Woohoo, Australia. But unfortunately with these I don't know what the fuck was that, but the kangaroo moves, the donkey moves. She became a very big joke. A lot of people started making a lot of memes whilst researching for this video. The amount of memes that I've found. Look at this one. She was so bad that even in 2028 Olympics denied, blocked, banned, shadow banned, blacklisted her from ever competing in the Olympics again because she made the whole thing look like a joke because anyone, Olympics were supposed to be like the superhumans where very small percentages amount of people who can perform these moves, the best of the best, the elites, but she came forward with those um, slow motion moves. Again, I respect the hustle. I respect all the training put into it, but I, maybe this was the best Australia could do. It was just funny and the internet is 100% going to make fun of it. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's how the internet is. But she decided to take it to the internet after a few days of all the memes and backlash and decided to respond to the whole situation. She first responded with a statement a day after her competition saying, do what you want, do what you believe, one of those motivations. And then uh, a few days later, she decided to come up with this response. I really appreciate the positivity and I'm glad I was able to bring some joy into your lives. I didn't realize that that would also open the door to so much hate, which has frankly been pretty devastating. I'd really like to ask the press to please stop harassing my family, my friends, and the broader street dance community. I did take it very seriously. I worked my butt off preparing for the Olympics and I gave my all. 
truly. Unfortunately, she is going to be center of attention on the internet since she went mega viral and everyone around her has to pay for it as well. But it's not a big deal. She's just going to go through some of it. I hope she doesn't take it all by heart. I'm sure it will hurt her a lot and question her you know, breakdancing career going forward. I don't think there's a chance of her watching this video, but if she is, do not quit. Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe you're not qualified for Olympics. It is something you love. Do competitions, meet up, breakdancing, whatever it is. And I hope these words doesn't take it you don't take it too deeply the trolls are gonna be at it for a while and then they're gonna move up to the next person that's exactly how internet works anyways just thought this whole situation was funny and since i was uh, you know moving to this new place i missed this whole drama and there's been some updates about it i just wanted to talk about it let me know your thoughts in the comments below i feel like at this point everyone used to be a break dancer at one point we all did for like a, we all went through a phase but it wasn't a phase for me i took it very seriously and professionally when I was 14 years old. And also, if you think I don't upload enough videos, I do have a second channel that I upload the trimmed, edited uh, stream sections, the, the ones we react to or the things we talk about. My second channel, Call Me Koosh. We also have a Discord channel to stay updated and just have yapping sessions. The, all the links are down below, Instagram page, TikTok page, whatever it is. Make sure to drop us up. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more videos. Take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.